This new subject came into the existence during the Second World War. Computers have played a vital role in the development of this operational research. Operation research is a quantitative approach to the decision making based on the scientific method of problem solving. This phase requires the problem to be formulated in the form of an appropriate model. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of our operation research class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty, Department of Computer Science, Vidyashtra First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Today I am going to discuss very, very important concepts that is from first unit. This is very important session for the point of your examination. So at least you will get one or two questions from this concept. In this session I am going to discuss regarding the OR, origin of OR, what is the definition for OR and the mathematical formation in OR, different uh, mathematical formation, mathematical or models, models in OR as well as the very important concept which I am going to discuss today is what is the scope of OR as well as the advantages and disadvantages of operation research. Now before going to exact definition, let us know what is meant by OR first. Now where we are going to use this OR, OR means the operation research. So origin and the development of OR to linear programming problem. Now operation research is abbreviated, so, operational research that is operations research, OR is abbreviated as OR is nothing but operation research, the short form is OR, okay may be described as a scientific approach for decision making. It is nothing but the scientific approach for any decision making. So to make any decision, the decision is nothing but either getting the maximum profit or a minimum expenditure to that we are going to take a decision. That decision making can be obtained from this operational research. So, Operation research abbreviated as war may describe as the scientific approach to the decision making. This new subject came into the existence during the second world war. So during the second world war, how to drop the bombs to analyze that problem, they have developed the new concept that is nothing but the operation research. Nowadays we are using this operation research in almost all fields of science and engineering. Now, war is defined as the experimental science developed to, this is an experimental science which is used to develop, this is usually actually developed for observing, understanding and predicting the behavior of a man machine system for understanding, for developing, and for observing and also for predicting the behavior of man and machine system, we have developed this operation research. Now, now let us coming over to the role of computers in operation research. Now, the computers will play very vital and important role in the operation research for solving the numerous problem. Complicated problem can be solved with the help of these computers. Now, computer have played a vital role in the development of uh, the operation research. These computers will play a vital role for solving the problem in this operation research, but would not have achieved its present position for the use of uh, computers. Next, the reason is that, what is the reason? Means the reason is that for war techniques, computations are so complex the techniques are so complex and involved that these techniques would have been no practical use without the computers. Now, many large scale applications of the war techniques can be solved which requires only few minutes to solve the problem. So, any problem, the large scale application of war techniques which requires only few minutes for the solution to get the solution. So the computers have become essential and important integral part of this operation research and nowadays this operation research methodology and the computer methodology are uh, 
growing up very instant simultaneously hand in hand process so this nowadays the operation research method as well as the computer methodology are growing simultaneously for the development of this uh, for getting the solution of this operation research problems now let us come to the definition of this operation research now what is this operation research mean the meaning of operation research operations that means operation the first part that is nothing but the activity carried out in an organization any activity which is carried out in an organization is an operation what is meant by research the research is nothing but the process of observation and the testing characterized by the scientific method whatever the observation we are going to observe in the organization that can be processed that observation can be processed and observation can be tested characterized by the scientific method is called the operation research so in general operation means the activity that carried out in an organization and the research is nothing but the process of observation and the testing characterized by the scientific method is called the operation research so together in combined this operation this operation research can be defined as operation research is a quantitative approach to the decision making based on the scientific method of problem solving this is also called is this can also be defined as the scientific methodology for solving a problem that means operation research war is a quantitative technique or scientific technique quantitative technique or approach to the decision making based on the scientific method of solving the problem in the examination they may ask this for two marks defined operation research what is the answer you are going to write operation research is a quantitative approach to the decision making based on the scientific method of problem solving now operation research is the scientific approach to the execute the decision making so the scientific method which are going to be applied for the execution of the given problem is called an operation research now this operation research consists of mainly mathematical modeling modeling of a complex situation and getting the solution for that complex situation and uh, the development of the solution techniques used to solve the models so here this mathematical this operation research consists of uh, the art of mathematical modeling formation of a mathematical model and also getting the solution for such mathematical model so that is nothing but the ability to effectively communicate the result to the decision makers to communicate the perfect uh, result to the decision makers now let us come to the modeling what is meant by the modeling so the examination they may ask for two marks define a modeling what is a modeling and different types of modeling so modeling is nothing but the essence of operation research a model is nothing but an observation of idealized representation of the real life problem now how to define the modeling modeling is nothing but a picture or a map okay so modeling in is a real life situation helps to study the different behavior of the problem corresponding to the description of the problem now what is the model how to define the model a model can be defined is nothing but a model is a picture or a map a curve or an equation the reliability of the decision drawn from the model may depends upon the validity of the model or basic assumption which the model is built so in general a model is nothing but a picture or a map or a curve or an equation an equation that is called as a model so therefore modeling in real life situation help us to study the different behavior of the problem corresponding to the description of the problem let us come to the next concept the next concept is main phases of war so in the examination they may ask for a seven or eight marks this is a seven marks question what are the main phases of uh, operation research this is very important question for the point of examination so usually 
a maximum type of a theory part questions from this uh, first unit itself. So, now let us come to the procedure. What is the procedure for an operation research? The study involves the procedure for an operation research study involves the following six major phases. So, to study a operation research model, to study a model in operation research, it will have uh, six following major phases. What are the phases? Now, let us come to the phase one. First phase is the formation of a mathematical model. Formation. This phase requires the problem to be formulated in the form of an appropriate model. So, in the phase 1, phase 1, the formation, formation of a given problem. The given problem to be formulated in the form of an appropriate model. Next, this includes finding the objective function, constraints or the restrictions. To form a mathematical model, it requires the objective function as well as the constraints or the restrictions, right. That is nothing but the decision variables. Now, the interrelationship, the interrelationship, possible alternative courses of action, time limit for making the decision, controllable variables and uncontrollable variables which may affect the possible solution. So, here yeah, the interrelationship to be maintained that is the possible alternative course of uh, action, time limit as well as making the decision which ranges from controllable variable, controllable variables and uncontrollable variables therefore, which may also affect the possible solution. So, therefore, the formation at this stage is very important depending upon this factor. Now, suppose if a wrong formation cannot yield a right solution. So, if a problem is formed wrong, then it cannot yield a right solution. Hence, one must be very careful while forming the problem that is while executing this phase. That is phase number one. That is nothing but the formation. Now, let us come to the phase two. What is the second phase? The second phase is nothing but construction of a mathematical model. So, this is very important. How to construct a mathematical model? So, this phase is concerned with the reformation of the problem in an appropriate forum which is useful in the analysis of the given problem. Now, the most suitable model is a mathematical model representing the study of problem, representing the problem and a study. So, that is the most suitable model is a mathematical model representing the study of the model. So, that is the representing the problems under the study. Now, a mathematical model should include the decision variables and the objective function and the constraint. A model, the mathematical model, which should involve the decision variables as the objective function and the constraints. Now, the advantage of this mathematical model is that it describes the problem more consciously which makes the overall structure of the problem more comprehensible and it also helps to reveal the important causes and affect the relationship. So, here the most important the advantage of this mathematical model is that it will describe the problem more easily which makes overall structure of the problem to solve very easy, comprehensible and it also helps to reveal the important causes like uh, effect and the relationship between them. Okay. Now, let us come to the next phase that is nothing but uh, derivation of the solution. After forming a mathematical model, we have to solve that. So, we have to derive the solution for the formed mathematical equation. So, the phase 3 involves the solution for this mathematical model. Usually, in this we are going to get the optimal solution that is either to get the maximum value or minimum value of the given problem, given situation. So, this phase is developed to computation of the those values of the decision variables which maximizes or minimizes that is nothing but which optimizes the objective function that is the computations for those values of the 
decision variable which maximizes or minimizes that means optimizes the objective function. So, this is also important to arrive at the optimal solution of the problem. So, it is very important stage to get the solution for this given objective function. So, that is getting the optimal value either it may be a maximum or minimum. Now, let us come to the next phase. This is very important phase testing the mathematical model and its solution. So, the mathematical model and the solution is to be tested that is the complicated model is tested for errors if any if at all any errors that mathematical model must be tested. Then the principle of judging the validity of a model is whether or not it is productive relative effect to the alternative course of action with sufficient accuracy to permit a sound decision. Now, a good model should be applicable for a long time. So, a good model is applicable for a long time and thus updates the model from time to time by taking into the account the past, the present and the future specification of the problem. So, that is a model should be applicable for a long time and thus it will update the time by taking into an account the past, present and the future specification of the problem. Now, this phase also establishes a systematic procedure for uh, detecting changes and controlling the situation. So, this stage testing and mathematical model as well as getting the solution for that mathematical model will establish a systematic procedure for detecting the changes as well as for controlling the situation. Now, let us come to the next phase that is establishing control over the solution. So, how to establish the control over the solution? Now, this is also an important concept that is after testing phase is get done, the next step is to install a well documented system for applying the model. So, after testing phase is completed, the next step is to install a well documented system for applying the testing model. So, it includes the solution procedure and operating procedure for the implementation. It includes the solution procedure as well as the operating procedure for the implementation. Before going to implement, it should be tested whether the solution procedure and the operating procedures are satisfied. Now, this phase establishes a control over the solution with some degree of a satisfaction. It will also controls or establishes the control over the solution for some degree of a satisfaction. This phase also establishes the systematic procedure for detecting if at all any changes and controlling the situation. Suppose if any changes and to control the system, we are going to establish the control on the given problem and the given situation. Now, let us come to the phase 6. The last phase is the implementation. So, the implement after all these five stages get over, see whether it can be implemented or not. That is called the implementation phase. The implementation of the control solution involves the translation of the model results into operating instructions. So, the resulting model involves the translation to the resulting operating instructions. Now, it is important in OR to ensure that the solution is accurately translated into an operating procedure to rectify the faults in the solution. So, we have to ensure that the solution is accurate. If not, it will be translated into the operating procedure to rectify the faults in the solution. So, these are the main phases of operation research. So, definitely you may expect a question like this from these uh, phases of operation research. Now, let us come to the next concept. The very, very important concept is 
what are the advantages and the disadvantages of operation research now let us discuss the advantages first what are the advantages of operation research here so first one optimum use of production factor what is the meaning linear programming techniques indicates how a manager can most effectively employ his production factor by more efficiently or more effectively selecting and distributing these elements. So, one of the advantage is optimum use of production factors. So, linear programming techniques indicate how a manager can most effectively employ his production factors by more effectively selecting and distributing these elements. Now, the very important is improved, it can improve the quality of decision, improved quality of a decision. That means, the computation table gives a clear picture of what the happening within the basic restrictions. So, using that we can improve the quality of the decision. Now, the possibility of compound behavior of the element involved in the problem, the effect on probability due to the changes in the production pattern would be clearly indicated in the solution. So, here the compound behavior of the element involved in the problem as well as the probability due to the changes in the production factor can be clearly indicated in the solution. Now, another very important application advantage of this operation research is the preparation of future managers. What techniques substitute a means of uh, means for improving the knowledge and skill of a uh, young managers. So, what techniques substitute a means for improving the knowledge as well as the skills for the young managers. Now, let us come to the next point modification of mathematical solution. So, the modification of mathematical solution means this operation research presents a possible practical solution when one exists, but it is very important to accept or modify before using that situation. The effect of this modification may be evaluated from the computation steps in the table. Now, let us come to the last point that is alternative solutions. So, this OR techniques will suggest all the alternative solution available for same problem so that the best solution can be obtained. So, they will give the alternative solution for the problem so that we can apply to get the best solution. Now, these are few advantages of operation research. Now, let us come to the very important concept. What are the disadvantages? This is also an important, you may expect this for 7 marks also. So, disadvantages of operation research. So, there are few reasons why we are uh, disagreeing with this uh, operation research. Now, the practical application, formulation of an industrial problem as LP model is a difficult task. Formation of a mathematical model of a linear programming is a very difficult task. So, therefore, the formation of an industrial problem as a linear programming model is a difficult task, practical application. Next, reliability. So, the reliability a non-linear relationship is changed to linear relationship for fitting the problem to the linear programming pattern. This may disturb the entire system. So, that is a non-linear relationship is changed to the linear relationship for fitting a problem to the linear programming problem may disturb the entire system. Now, the very important is the magnitude of the computation. So, what tries to find out the optimum solution by taking all the factors into the consideration, into the account. So, by considering all the factors, finding, find out the optimum solution by taking all the factors into account. In practical problem, 
these factors are numerous and expressing. Now, next one is the absence of uh, quantification. So, the absence of quantification means war provides solution only when the elements are related to a problem are quantified. If the problems are quantified, then only the solution can be obtained from the help of this operation research. That the tangible factors such as the price, product, etc. can be expressed in terms of uh, quality, but intertangible elements of the system cannot be quantified like a human relationship. So, here the elements like rise in price production can be quantified, whereas intangible elements of the system cannot be quantified like human relationship. Now, the very important uh, disadvantage of this is distance between the manager and the OR. That means operation research problems requires a mathematician or a statistician who may not be aware of business problem. This is one of the major disadvantages. To solve a mathematical problem, you must be a well experienced in statistics or as well as in mathematics. So, the problems requires a mathematician or a statistician who might not be aware of the business problem. So, a manager may not understand the complex working of mathematical model and considered in the operation research. Okay. So, a mathematician is going to solve this problem. Either a statistician can solve the problem, whereas a manager cannot solve a problem mathematically. So, these are the disadvantages of a operation research. So, these are few disadvantages in operation research. Okay. Now, just this is a theory part. In this session, just you have to read, you have to go through the points, whatever the points I have explained, you just go through the points. So, this type of question may be appear for your examination. So, usually you may get a question like uh, what is operation research for two malls, what is the modeling for two malls and uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, operation research as well as the scope of operation research in computers. These are few questions you may expect from uh, this concept. Okay? So, just you go once and practice, that is it. Okay? So, that is all regarding uh, today's session. Let us meet with a few more concepts in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.